Hello and welcome to Relax and Sleep Hypnosis Daily. My name is Jason Newland and my website is jasonnewland.com. Now, you, you know, you basically only listen when you can safely close your eyes with these recordings. Now, I know some people will be listening solely to just relax and other people will be listening so that they can safely fall asleep now whichever reason you're here listening to my voice just remember there are no rules you know, you can just allow yourself to let go completely. And you may have listened to enough of these recordings to, you know, get an idea of the kind of stuff that I do, the kind of things that I say. And you know, a lot of it is repetition. A lot of it is quite boring. And that's okay. You know, sometimes I think of an idea before I start and then I'll, I'll start the recording, I'll start talking and I'll forget about the idea and I'll waffle on about something else. That's just how I do these things. That's just the way that for some reason I function. Now, Today, I have been a bit, a little bit more disciplined. And I'm going to focus on the earth. I'm going to focus on the fact that we are standing or sitting or lying down on the earth, this planet. Now, you might not be physically lying down on the grass. But that doesn't matter because the gravitational pull and the earth itself, we are connected through energy. So even if you're in a skyscraper on the 40, 450 millionth floor, you're still connected to the earth. You're still connected to the core in that sense of our imagination and that gravitational pull and the fact that we're all just energy ultimately we're just energy and we are connected so I was thinking about this and if you want to close your eyes if your eyes are not already closed because I know some people will close their eyes just simply out of habit or maybe once you start hearing my boring voice you you can't you can't keep your eyes open <laughs> it's just I uh, know I couldn't either if I'm honest I mean right now I've got my eyes closed because I struggle to keep my eyes open when I start talking because I can hear myself as well. I've got headphones on, so I can hear my boring voice. And it is a bit boring. It's a bit, it's a little bit flat, you know. It's a little bit, uh, uh, you know, I just, sometimes I do feel that I'm drifting off to sleep when, during making these recordings and it's it's kind of funny because I have fallen asleep in the past especially the ones where I used to lie down on my bed I think I used to call them in bed with Jason and I used to lie there make a video and I'd fall asleep I just hadn't I, no choice because my voice and lying down is, it's a combination that leads to sleep. And 
And even for myself, when I'm trying to talk, I would fall asleep. And nothing else really... <laughs> I mean, okay, sometimes in the past I've watched television and, and I've fallen asleep or I've tried to stay up late, you know, because I want to watch something on telly and I've fallen asleep or I've just been very tired, you know. But quite often when I make these recordings, I do them when I'm not tired simply because I don't want to fall asleep. But then once I start talking and I find myself relaxing. Um, and it, it makes sense really. I mean, if I was sitting on the edge of my chair all tense and stressed, then I'm going to sound tense and stress. Uh, and I'm pretty sure I don't. I'm fairly certain I sound quite relaxed. And it's because I am quite relaxed. And becoming more relaxed as the minutes go by. And it's not just the relaxation and sleepiness yeah, can be contagious. So that when you hear me feeling more relaxed and perhaps sleepy, you become tuned in to that sense. You know, so, uh, maybe some would just call it rapport. Uh, and you kind of tune in to those maybe those same vibrations of deep relaxation and sleepiness. And there's a sense of, uh, there's, it feels nice. That's one of the things where, um, if you, if you go online and you hear people talking about, uh, you know, maybe a bit laying in bed and not ha maybe not being able to sleep and stuff. But what's missing is that bit before falling asleep. Because if all you're thinking about is I need to fall asleep, I need to fall asleep, you're probably not going to fall asleep. And I've done that. I've been there, and it that doesn't work. But there's that part before falling asleep where your body relaxes. And if you can, and this took me a little bit, a little bit of time to kind of wrap my head around. But it dawned on me that I enjoy lying down on my bed. I enjoy that process of allowing my body, or it's not really allowing, my, my body just naturally relaxes. Because just like, um, well, you know, if you go back to the Pavlovian thing with dogs being trained with treats uh, to react, you know, in certain ways, our bodies, our minds have had literally years and years and years and years and years of training right from birth to connect the bed with sleep, to connect the bed with comfort and relaxation because that's what we did for many years before we became adults. And even as adults, the bed, all those other connections were beds as well, when you get as an adult, but a lot of that connection is still sleep. 
and relaxing. Relaxing and sleep. And that connection with your bed, it's not just a connection with the bed itself, there's also the the routine, the, you know, maybe uh, you go, you go to a toilet, you brush your teeth, uh, perhaps you have a, I always have a, some water before I go to bed, um, because I love waking up in the middle of the night having to go for a wee-wee, yeah, brilliant, but you know, we've all got a different routines. You might go around, turn all the lights off. Um, you may break dance. I don't know. Who knows what, what people do? And then you lie down in the bed. Perhaps you lie down on your left, then you turn to your right. Maybe you just lie down on your back. Maybe you sit up in your bed because that's the, that's the way that you sleep for whatever reason. So, you know, we've all got our own routines when it comes to going to bed. And each part of that routine strengthens what happens when you get into bed. Strengthens the the feeling of comfort and looseness and relaxation when you lay down. And it's that feeling, that feeling before drifting off to sleep that to me is nicer than the sleep because I'm not aware of the sleep. I'm aware of how relaxed and calm I feel when I'm lying there. That's the nice, that's the nicest part of it for me as I become more and more relaxed. Looser. Noticing that my breathing is clearer and deeper. Noticing also that my body relaxes almost to the point where I don't even really feel it anymore. It's like my body's become part of the bed. And that's a nice feeling. And that happens to all of us. We may not be aware of it. But all of us, when we fall into that level of relaxation. And we drift off to sleep. We're the most relaxed we can be. So relaxed. And you got those two choices. You can, you can drift off to sleep. If that's what you choose to do. Or you can enjoy that sense of comfort, that sense of deep, deep relaxation where your body almost just disappears, sinks into the bed or the couch or the chair, wherever you happen to be when you're relaxing. And you notice your mind is automatically slowed way down, really slowed down, which may be the opposite to how you used to experience your mind. But now, 
and onwards from this moment. You'll notice that your mind relaxes and slows down naturally and easily whenever you close your eyes, preparing to relax or to fall asleep. Relax deeply or fall in fast asleep, letting go of everything, all thoughts gone. Enjoying the sensations of comfort that you naturally experience in your body and your mind. Just being aware of them. Enjoying. Maybe feeling grateful for how easily your whole body and mind can let go and relax deeply. Let go and relax deeply.